What's up, Terminator fans? Rox here, and thank you for joining me. Uh, the GamesCon uh, gameplay uh, was released, uh, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. But I, I got to see it, and I had some questions about the, th about the video or the gameplay. I saw some stuff that I was a little bit concerned about. Or at least kind of, you know, I was, I want to know. I'm curious about the game. I'm kind of wondering if you guys actually caught something about the uh, the gameplay. If you guys noticed something, because there's some pretty obvious stuff here. I had a conversation with a buddy of mine, and we kind of saw things at a different perspective. So I'll try to bring up his points along with mine. But my concern was, I felt like the Tomb Raider 2013 release was a little too easy. And after I saw the gameplay, and what this guy did here, he or she. Uh, went through the entire camp like it was a walk in the park like he had no resistance and maybe because the game is just too easy like this guard here that she just took out and took him underwater is he always going to be standing there for my convenience to take him underwater you know what i mean it's like i wonder if the soldiers are going to be moving around so that i'll always have a challenge whenever i play the game one of the things that I locked in other titles is that every time if you happen to die and you got to this certain area, the soldiers will always be moving around, you know, so you never had the same experience playing the campaign. And here, um, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting that sort of thing. I hope not. I hope that, the like the, I said, the uh, soldiers move around and we always get a, a sort of a different type of gameplay every time we play the campaign. Also, another thing that was pretty obvious is that this gameplay actually shows a lot of brutality. Um, it's a lot more gorier than uh, the previous one. And that's the other thing. We were talking about, me and my buddy were talking about this, is where does Lara get her training? Where does she get her training uh, to go into this? Oh, before I get into that, this is something we kind of brought up. She tosses this bottle in order to get the attention of this guy who's right in front of her. But I'm wondering, does she even need to do that? Because he was so focused on whatever he was doing right there that she could have probably easily just gotten up on the window and leaped over. But to me, it just seemed it was sort of, in reality, it would have been sort of reversed. If she got his attention, he would have been more aware to his surroundings. And I thought it was kind of funny that he didn't notice her, her just kind of being over to his right over in his uh, peripheral vision you know what I mean it's like if something caught my attention over there something's gonna grab my attention over here too something that, that's unnatural not against the wall so I'm wondering if where if this person who's playing this gameplay is he playing it on easy mode but let me go back to uh, Lara Croft's training right. where does he get where does she get her training and also why does she actually fight against the uh, Trinity group? I mean, what happens early on in the game that makes you want to take all of these guys out, not even give them a chance on uh, working together? That's another thing right here, where she just uh, uh, took out these two guys. And let me go back to the training thing. Where did she get her training? How did she end up shooting two arrows to take out two guys? And well, that's one of the things that was kind of concerns me. It's like, where does she become like a, an assassin, a professional assassin, where she can actually shoot two arrows and kill these people? And that's one of the things that my buddy was bringing up. He was like, well, maybe this is further on into the game. Obviously, she already knows that Trinity is a dangerous group and there's no sense in talking to them. So she might as well just start executing all of them. Yeah, because, I mean, she couldn't have learned all this in Yamatai. She had to have gone to some sort of uh, rigorous training before she went out into the Himalayas. And for all you Tomb Raider fans, you guys know that in the previous games, uh, if you ever went to Croft Manor, she always had those uh, uh, sort of gymnasium set up where she can actually climb and, and pull herself up and did all her sorts sort of exercises there. So I'm kind of curious if in Rise of the Tomb Raider, if we're going to get to see something like that that would explain some of her training or some of her expertise in taking out uh, soldiers. I mean, these guys are elite soldiers. <laughs> and to me, she's still sort of like this young, inexperienced Lara Croft. 
So for her to be like concocting like, you know, poisonous arrows and blowing stuff up. And look at this. She takes out these soldiers like like nothing. Like she's not scared of getting into like gunfights. So where does she get this training? You know, where, how does how did she become such a professional? Look at that. It's like she's unstoppable really. She's like the Terminator. But that, that's one of my, my real only, uh, I guess my only real question is how did she become such a pro? And I think that's one of the, the, the critiques that people are going to be putting out there. They were already saying that in uh, Tomb Raider, like how did she become such a professional after she just kills one guy? Well, I could, I understood it, you know, and I understood the situation. But here, I don't know so much, man. Here I just feel like... Well, maybe there's a part of the, the game that we haven't seen yet where she actually goes through the training, maybe in a tutorial, and it would explain why she's so, so, uh, so good at uh, killing people and hiding and uh, kind of creating these sort of like weapons on the fly, you know, out in the wilderness, because she really is like a real good expert at uh, living out there in the wilderness and there's no way she could have just gotten it from her experience in Yamatai. She have got, she's, she should have gotten some sort of training from it. And who trained her? I don't know. But I'm hoping that there's some sort of explanation that shows her doing push-ups and pull-ups and you know we get to see that she actually has some muscle for her to take out all these guys and for her to feel be so such a professional killer. Okay so those are my thoughts. I don't know. Let me know. Write it. Write your thoughts uh, in the uh, comments below. Let's have a conversation about it. I still, we still haven't heard anything about the multiplayer. I, you know, but still, we're still far off away. Uh, it comes out in what November, so we got like two or three months of still more uh, sort of previews like this. So hopefully, we'll get to see and hear something about the multiplayer coming out soon. But anyways, you guys, like I said, uh, thank you for uh, supporting the channel. My name is Rox, and I'll see you guys next week.